Hey guys, RC here. Episode. God, what episode is this? Let me check. 87. Episode 87 it is. Football Manager 19. Um, we're not to the games yet, but we had some news. The takeover bid has been completed. Uh, so Kieran Bradbury is the new owner of West Brom Albion. Uh, selling, buying from former owner Lai Gushan, just a guess. Uh, anyway, uh, he is delighted by the deal, wants to make a difference. I have not read any of the other emails, so let's take a look at the news. The good news is it's January 5th, and of course we have a trade embargo because of the takeover bid. I had to readjust uh so let's see thank for patience uh no further investment uh okay so the managing director the director the two directors have left the club uh, bradley hobbs and luke smith come on board uh old philosophies the new board asks you to work under no new philosophy and will only judge moving forward. They have cut our link with MSK Zil Zilnia. A change in strategy. They do lift the embargo. All right. I don't know what that does for us. Let's see here. So we are considered rich. Valued at $1.3 billion. Excellent facilities. Continental. Hmm. All right, well. General, anything about the board in here? News? Board? All right, I guess they'll do some stuff moving forward. Now, we do have an affiliate club. Actually, I didn't. Uh, so Coventry were still there. I guess I didn't even know what MSK Zilnia was was doing. Oh, I know what that was. That was the one we had first right of refusal on or something. Anyway, um, yeah. So new ownership, good, bad. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm still playing along. Um, we can take a quick look at the schedule. Uh, we have lost to Southampton two to one. Caputo gave up an own goal off a set piece right outside the box uh, in the first minute. Then we gave up a penalty and lost 2-1. to one. Arsenal beat us 2-1. to one. Eric Garcia with a goal. And then we beat Forrest Green 3-0 in the FA Cup third round. And we have drawn Liverpool uh, in the next match. So that may change where we come back. Uh, they actually want us to reach the fifth round. So Liverpool's kind of a key game for us there. We're not making a ton of money. I still want to focus on Europa. So yeah, we'll come back for Leicester and uh, Sociedad like I had planned to. So we'll see you guys back here in a second. New ownership, yes. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Episode 87, Football Manager 19. We we're playing with our third club, West Brom, and we are um, we're struggling. Uh, we have had a turn in form, and it has not been for the better. So we had the stunner against Man United, and then the 1-0 loss to Aston Villa last time. And you can see what we have done since, and it's been shit. Uh, a 2-1 loss to Southampton. Chikwuma scored for us. Caputo gave up the own goal. I did mention this uh, briefly uh, in the intro uh, with the takeover information. Uh, then we lost 2-1 to Arsenal. Eric Garcia scored, uh, but we gave up two early goals in the first 20 minutes. We beat Forrest Green in the FA Cup third round. Danny Olmo with a brace. Morgan Harris, our right mid, with a uh, second-half goal. 
Uh, Newcastle, 2-1 loss. Morgan Harris with another goal. Troy Parrott with a nine-minute brace. Man City, uh, ooh, my collar is all screwed up. Uh, two to one. Uh, Franeschini finally got on the score sheet again, but we were already down two nil. Tottenham, we stunned three to two. Franeschini with a goal. Danny Olmo and Brendan Taylor scored. And he scored in the 91st minute. We gave up a 92nd minute goal to Comanichi, Comanichini, or something like that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everton, we lost two to one. Jake Robinson got on the field and scored for us. Liverpool, we beat two one in the FA Cup fourth round, so that was actually pretty good. El Amrani with a goal and Chikuma with the game winner to hold on after Kovacic scored late. Uh, then Bristol City beat us two nil, uh, a penalty and a twentieth minute goal. Watford two to one. Chikuma with a goal for us. The bad thing is, in a lot of these matches, Bristol City, for example, I want to say was one. Yeah, look, I mean, we dominated them. 21 to 5 on shots, 9 to 3 on target, 9 chances to 1, and we lose 2-0. That's the kind of run that we're on. So, you know, a lot, a lot of matches were like that. I mean, you know, now some, like Man City... You know, we're, we're supposed to lose those right now, right? Uh, you know, 19 to 7 on shots. So, you know, nothing nothing wrong there. Uh, but, you know, so a lot of these, we, we manhandled them statistically. 15 to 7 on shots. Um, now, granted, chances were not there, but, you know, 6 on target to 3. So the teams that we're supposed to beat, we're we're winning the match, but not on the score sheet. So we're in a bad run of form. We had to have a team meeting recently. Uh, we are back for Leicester and Real Sociedad for the first uh, leg of the first knockout round in uh, Europa League. And we are through to the fifth round of the FA Cup, which is where we're supposed to be. Also, let's take a look at transfers. We uh, are past the tra transfer deadline. Uh, let's see. Not a whole lot of action down the stretch. Mostly, in fact, they're all loans. Um, I tried to sell Burton, but our affiliate was the only one that came in for him. Uh, McNamara also wanted to leave. We had him listed. Nobody took him. Uh, we did sign a youngster. I really didn't want to do this, but I do have it set up for my head of youth development to make uh, to go out and find uh young players so he found jeremy williams uh from fulham uh we're bringing him in for 4.2 million he's not very expensive on the salary so that's even though we're failing ffp this isn't affecting us there very much at all but uh but he is a very good young striker uh very good very good physicals um potential ability is a very good rating for the senior team and if we take a look here, um, you know, I, I think he'll be good long term, but not so much uh, in the short term. So he's going to be in our U23s, uh, working his way up, probably maybe even our U18s to start. Uh, but anyway, we just got him in. And uh, you notice I didn't make any other moves. And the reason being is because we were failing FFP, so I didn't want to bring in any more debt. So we're going to go with what we got. I did try to move some more salary. No takers. So, so be it. Uh, outside of uh, the Glenn Craddock move early in the month. But nothing that helps us now. So let's get to the match preview. We are uh, slight underdogs at home. <sighs> Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go with this tactic here. Okay, we've got Walter back in. Strobel moves up. Uh, I did actually have to go in and force Walter into the uh, Europa uh, registration. For some reason, it would not register him, even though he's our starting left back. And he falls into that ho homegrown exception. So I had to, I had to cut somebody else out. So, 
so be it. That's uh, that is what it is. Man, I can. I just hope we can turn things around here, cause man, it has been dismal. All right, do it for the fans. See if we can get some green for the boys. You know, they've been very responsive to the team talks, to the team meeting that we had, but just we're just not there. Just not there. Uh, I am recording this on Sunday. This will go up on Wednesday, I believe. Ugh. You got to move to the ball, fellas. All right, Strobel, nice defense. Um, but this is the first uh, episode that I'm recording since last week when I went in the hospital for football manager. I recorded a couple of surviving Mars yesterday. Uh, but anyway... Franashini plays it out to Olmo, crossed in. Chikwuma, get in there, son. 17th on the season gives Spots as an early lead. I thought that was going out of play. Uh, but anyway, so I'm doing all right. They did find, you know, I had a major infection uh, in my pelvis, and uh, they did surgery, uh, drained it. It's uh, not pleasant definitely hurts <laughs> they've got me on some good pain medication which is good uh, which i probably need to take some here but i'm trying not to get uh too dependent on it you know i've never been a big fan of uh medication so anyway fran oh franashini botched that one Nyambi gets back to make the play up to olmo Sinclair plays it out to Walter. He hoofs it into the box. All right. Who was that? Ingram. Ingram coming up from the right, right mid. Sinclair. Put some pressure on him. Uh, Danny Olmo. A tight hamstring. All right. Let's make a sub for him. Uh, mid left, well, we're going to bring Brendan Taylor in. He can play mid right. So he should be able to play the other side, huh? Hate making that early first half sub, especially for one of our starting 11. Oh, way to go up there and get that ball. Branishini trying to make some space, holds it. Oh, stepped over. Plays it deep to Ingram, crossed in. It's an own goal. Who got credit? Kurt Zuma, yes. Good job, Kurt. 2 nothing West Brom. We got a little lucky there, but hey, we'll take it. We will take it. 4-2 to two on shots. Pogba. Fiori. Oh, get the ball. <laughs> we almost gave one right back there. All right, let's praise him. Sinclair. Oh, crossed over. Oh, lumped over. Boo. Who was that? That was Walter. Come on, fellas. 2 nothing at the half. Pretty happy with that. We're sitting ninth right now. Uh, we were 10th. Mid table. I would like to challenge for Europa again next year, but I'm actually very happy. All right. Taylor's playing a 6 7. He's got the hiccups. Excuse me. So he's doing good since coming on for Danny Olmo. Of course, Olmo was playing a 6 9. All right. There's Walter Taylor. Into Strobel. Dropped off. Play it out. Play it out. Nope. Sinclair. Franashini. Lays it out to Niambi. Crossed in. Oh, danger ball. Come on, boys. Let's uh let's give him a concentrate. Oh, they're overwhelmed. Sorry, cheeky calm concentrates overwhelm them. All right, Pogba sends it wide of the mark. All 
All right, Sinclair. Into the net. Fourth goal of the season for the midfielder. Good job. Good job. 3-0. All right, lumped out. You couldn't just control that, could you? Definitely one of the drawbacks in this game. I think, you know, definitely a coding bug, I think. Um, they, they may not admit it, but, you know, when, when, when their team can control the ball, head the ball down, head the ball to a, a, a teammate, and – you know, the human run team. And I watch a couple of guys and every team that they, you know, every, every player, you know, they all do these power headers to, uh, to the other team all the time. Well, not, you know, 90% of the time. I think last episode I had one. Oh, they got that one in. Brignola, second goal of the season. Who's that? Uh, Nietia? with the assist all right let's go ahead and uh strobel let's bring in declan and they're playing um ronnie's in the in the center so coleman i'm all right there um Tell you what, I'm going to move him over for Walter. And then Walter for Coleman. All right, that's all. Oh, that's Unfortunately, that's all three of our subs, though. Yeah, that's all right. I could cancel, but eh. All right. We're into the final ten with the subs. All right, that's Nietia, the guy that got the assist for him just a minute ago. Garcia heads it out, lumped on. All right, a good, solid 3-1 win. Very good. Even 2-1, not counting the own goal. Very happy with that. Excellent efforts. We much, much needed that. Arsenal beats Liverpool. All right, superior finishing. Olmo out one to three day. One win and we get a, oh, great tactics. You know, it's the same tactic we've been playing all season. Uh, let's see, seven tackles. We're going to praise his defense. All right, we come back in just a minute for uh, Sociedad, so we'll see you guys back here in just a second. It is Europa League Day. We're back for our match with Real Sociedad. Whew, hope I don't fall asleep before the game's over. Not because it's boring, because I just took my pain medication. Be careful with that stuff. Don't want to get addicted to it. All right, we are on the road. We are underdogs. It is gusty. So, yeah, I think we stay with me. Yeah, I think I stay with that tactic. All right, Strobel is out with an injury. Uh, two weeks. Pulled back muscles uh, from training. Uh, he just suffered that yesterday, getting up to the match. So, Declan Rice will get the start. Walter Franaschini. All right, let's get to it. So I'm not sure if, when we'll come back. We'll discuss that a little more, but you know, a lot of it will depend on where we, how we do in this match. All right, where you left off, that'll be good. Sergio Diaz. Sounds like he plays for Barcelona. Tamara plays it across to Pellegrini. Crosses it back to Diaz. 
We're definitely playing that Barca style football. Oh, clear it out, boys. That was a ping from range right off the crossbar. Jeez. All right, Declan Rice hoofs it. Franischetta, Ingram. Squares it back into Rice in the center. Back to Niambi. Pl tried to play it through. Rice corrals the head out. Franischini takes a touch. What a shot. Bounces it off of the keeper. Had no chance to control that ball. 14th of the season for Franischini, and we are up 1-0. I would like to get a comfortable win here if possible, to where we can move into the next leg at home with no real issue. All right, Rice tried to play it through, bounces off. Bernito has some runners. Oh, my God, he just – oh, <laughs> I couldn't even keep up with the commentary. He made our central defender look horrible, and then he skied it. Uh, encourage the boys. Frustrated. Okay. Ingram picks up a yellow. All right. Pena into Benito. Up into the attacking third. Oh, nice layout by Caputo to knock it away. Nobody closed on him. What the hell was that? Oh, nice control by Caputo to pull that one in. Good job, boys. Praise. Torp. Oh, another diving layout by Caputo. All right. Come on, fellas. Oh, my God. Oh, there's a nice head down, thank goodness. Ingram. All right, they're bunching up like a bunch of U10s. Ingram. Back to the outside. A nice nifty pass inside. He's looking to break down the defense. Oh, man, we had a shot there. Just couldn't pull the trigger. Look at the pace. Another woodwork shot. All right, hold on. What's going on here? All right, in transition, let's regroup and hold shape. Um, no, I want to move up to standard. Get stuck in. Yeah, there we go. I don't know why we're playing so far back there, but... All right, Niambi is tired, 69%. Hopefully, eh, he gets a little bit back at the half. We're not playing well. Um, well, they are playing good. Ingram, 74. All right, we'll let him start the second half. Come on, fellas. All right, playing out of the back. Garcia, Niambi, cuts it inside. Franischini lays it through to Olmo. Nice ball. Ah, just could not find it into the box. Oh, nice interception there. I think laying too far back was giving him just too much space. I like how we're playing a lot better. Oh, well. <laughs> Turnabout's fair play, I suppose. All right. We are at 73. I am be for Harris, I would say. 
Now see, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whew. <laughs> that wasn't good for my well-being. 16 to 2 on shots. Um, let's bump up here. They're just... I don't know how many shots they've had since halftime, though. Mm. Okay. Coleman. Let's do that. Try to beep up our back line. It's a little odd he hasn't been starting, but that's okay. Whoa, volley goes over. Hi. Come on, boys. Let's praise. Motivated, fired up. All right, I'm going to wait a few minutes. Sinclair. Oh, there it is. Offsides. Oh, come on. Is that my guy? No, that's Olmo. Well, I understand, but they weren't even in the way of the keeper. Come on, man. Chikwoma, Franashini. Let's bring Malone on. Let's give Malone a few minutes. Still just a 1-0 lead. Sinclair with a nice touch. Well, that was a nice ping from range. How did our guy not get that ball? There it is. Coleman, Garcia, out to Olmo, played up. All right, he corrals it again. Oh, that's horrible. Come on, that was out. That was out. Just wide. I think uh, I think Caputo stayed on his line pretty well. Five extra minutes. All right, Rice. Chikwuma taken down. Rice into Sinclair. Malone turns it inside. Uh, just a little dinky shot. Not even sure that was a shot. There it is. 1-0. All right, that's that's good because we got the clean sheet on the road. I think we played pretty well in the second half. After we brought that defensive line up, I think that was important. Excellent efforts. Mm, fortunate. Yeah, okay. I may give you that. So do we come back for the second leg here or not? Um, well, we do have the fifth round of the cup. Why don't we just come back for the next two games? I mean, that gives us cup action, Europa action to see if we advance in both stages. And then we've got the rest of the premier season. Uh, we are looking just for mid-table, so we're sitting in 10th, which is right there. We should certainly be doing a lot better if it wasn't for that run. Oh, my God. Alan Milne on loan. Um, and I think, I think I showed you guys all the transfers, right? At the end of the month. I don't remember if we when we when we sign these guys. He's going out. Uh, let's see. In yeah. So this guy's coming in. He's going to join us into the season from Grenada. Spanish. 
five foot six striker. Okay, no, you have not seen this guy, I don't think. So he's got pretty good physicals. He is short, really good finishing, to be fair. Uh, he's not going to be a header of the ball, um, you know, but uh, he could he could play on some low crosses. Could be a threat. We'll see. We'll see. He can also train as a number ten or as the uh, the winger. He's got really good crossing, some finishing. So you know we could play him as one as a winger if we need to. So new guy. All right. So yeah, let's come back for the next two matches for the FA Cup and the uh, second leg here with Sociedad. See if we advance in either one. Guys, thanks for watching. Pound the like button. Subscribe if you don't mind. See you here on the next episode. Bye.